Joe the turtle lived in a lake inside a forest. He was very talkative. Hi, Ant. I was wondering, what if you were huge with a long nose? Then I would not be an ant. I would be elephant. Ha ha ha! The ant laughed as he moved away. Joe. Like to talk most with his best friends, a pair of geese called Bo and Mo. The three friends lived in the same lake. Hi, Bo. What if I had wings like you? I wonder," said Joe. "Then you would be a goose like me," he he he," said Bo. It was summer. The lake. Was drying up. It hadn't rained for a long time. Some of the animals were leaving the forest in search of water. Bo, we better leave too. We can shift to another lake," said Mo. "You are leaving without me, your friend," cried out Joe. We can take him with us, Mo," said Bo. "How? He cannot fly," said Mo. Bo pushed a long twig towards Joe. "Come here. Hold this in your mouth," said Bo. Joe was shocked. "Me? With that stick in the mouth? I will not be able to talk." You have to keep your mouth shut till we reach the other lake," said Mo. The two birds held the twig at the two ends with their beaks. The turtle in the middle held it with his mouth. Bo and Mo flapped their wings. The three were airborne as all the animals of the forest waved them. Goodbye. Joe was excited. He had lived all his life on the ground. Now he could see from a height. Even the huge elephants looked like tiny ants. He almost opened his mouth, but Mo glared at him, and Joe kept his mouth shut. The three friends soon flew over a village. The villagers had seen geese fly before, but never had they seen geese flying with a piece of wood between their beaks. What is that? The villagers shouted. Is that a ball they are carrying? Asked one villager. Mm, no, no, it's a bundle of clothes. Shouted another. Joe was furious. Don't they know a turtle when they see one? He thought. Boiling with anger, he shouted, "You fools!" The moment he opened his mouth, he fell down. <coughs> the geese closed their eyes. They could not bear to see their friend smashed as he hit the ground. Then they heard a familiar voice. It's great to be in air. It's greater still to be in water. The geese looked down. Joe was waving at them. He had landed in a well. The geese turned back and landed near the well. Mo. Said Joe. Now think of a way of getting me out of this water hole. Hop on the bucket and come up. Said Bo, as Mo grinned in relief. His talkative friend 
was indeed lucky.